Hey, Life Church. I hope everybody is staying healthy and safe at home in the midst of everything that's been going on over these past several weeks. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Eric Arshimbo, and I've been attending Life Church for almost a year now. And I'm incredibly grateful to be connected with this community of believers. It's evident that God is moving in and through this church and the different ministries that are going on um, through our lead pastor, his family, and I'm just incredibly grateful. And I look forward to continue serving alongside all of you so that we may continue to glorify God and share his gospel across the greater Webster area. So in an effort to stay connected with everyone, uh, we realize that utilizing social media a little bit more is going to be important. And one way we'd like to do that is by posting a recap video each week of uh, the previous Sunday's sermon so that we may revisit the scriptures that were covered that Sunday and let the scriptures really form each of our thoughts and actions as we go about our daily lives. So this past Sunday on March 22nd, Pastor Shannon preached on Psalm 23, which is very much relevant to what's been going on um, in the world with the coronavirus. So let's jump into Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So right now, with the ever-changing news around the coronavirus, news of people dying as a result of the virus around the world, um, uncertainty around our jobs being affected with everything going on, our finances, when schools are going to return, um, there's a lot of uncertainty right now, and it looks a lot like each of us are going through our own personal valleys um, that we're struggling with. But although we may walk through these valleys, we don't have to remain here, um, which is great news, and we can rest in the hope of Christ's return. So I encourage you this week to offer up any, um, any trials that you're currently experiencing up to God. Um, really rest um, in that hope, and let us not allow the enemy to hold our thoughts and our joy captive, um, but remember that the Lord restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness. He leads us beside still waters. So God is for us and he's going to deliver us from the trials that we experience in life. In verse four of um, Psalm 23, David says, I will fear no evil. And Pastor Shannon on Sunday um, provided some great context um, referring to the book of Luke chapter 10, um, context into how the disciples must have been feeling um, as they saw Christ heal the sick, um, raise the dead, cast out demons, um, and then Christ commanded them to do so, to go out and do so in his name. So they must have been pretty scared to do that. Um, but because they placed their trust in God um, and spoke in his name, this is how it panned out. So if we go to Luke chapter 10, verses 17 through 20, the 72 returned with joy saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I have given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. So it goes to show that we have a mighty, all-powerful God, and we have a small enemy. Um, Christ has dominion over evil and conquered sin and death on the cross. So the fact that Jesus said that he would deliver us from evil, that should provide us with a tremendous amount of peace. So Pastor used a great analogy on Sunday of how our lives are like 
large cargo ships out on the ocean and how the trials um, and the temptations that we face in life um, is the water around the boat. Um, we can travel through some stormy waters. Um, the waters can be still at times, but the key is to keep the water out of the boat to prevent it from capsizing. Um, so we need to be aware of um, not letting bitterness, anger, um, unforgiveness into our hearts. Um, and we need to reflect on Proverbs saying, above all else, guard our hearts because it is the wellspring of life. So in conclusion, let us remember that the valley doesn't define who we are, but it's how we walk through the valley that defines us. We have an almighty God who is our good shepherd, and we can offer up any of our sufferings, any of our trials, anything that we're walking through to him. So continue to remain um, in the word of God, continue to pray for the world. Um, this Sunday, Pastor Shannon will be preaching on the topic of humility. So make sure to tune in to our 10 a.m. online service. Uh, we look forward to um, having you join us then. And in the meantime, God bless and take care.